Welcome back YouTube to my very next Let's Play, which is going to be Let's Play Feeding Frenzy 2 Shipwreck Showdown. Um, you may remember the name from when I first mentioned it when I started the channel, as it was mainly my intention to do this as my first Let's Play, but recording and sound issues meant that I had to delay it until now, when I've just spent the entire weekend working out how to do it. But it's done now, and ready to go. Um, I'm going to be using my Elias A fish, and we're just going to be starting the main game. Um, starting at Sandy Shoal, level 1. Um, we are Boris the Butterfly Fish on Frenzy Coast, and the ultimate goal of the game is to eat fish that are small than, smaller than us, and avoid getting eaten by larger Feeding fish. Uh, as you heard the voiceover man say, um, feeding frenzy, that's a uh, multiplier that you build up as you eat more and more fish um, in quick succession. Um, and this first level is really easy because once you've grown to full size, like I just have, there are no other threats on the level I can just sort of spam around. If I left click I can dash around and eat things really quick. Um, at the end of the level, if I haven't died, then a mermaid comes along and I can just eat all the starfish things she drops. And I got two extra lives from that, I think. Um, ultimately, in this game, points don't really matter at all. They just give you high scores at the end, but at the moment we've got the rank of newbie nibbler. And at the end of each uh, level, they give you a fun fact about fish, about the humphead wrasse in this case, but we're going to be moving on to succulent starfish, um, which basically just bonus bubbles which get you more points. Um, don't seem to get you much growth though. You can see by the bar up the top left my growth progress through the levels. Um, yeah, uh, this is a fair difference from the plot in the first game, though ultimately you are doing the same thing. Um, in the first one you just strive to become the largest fish in the ocean, and eventually I think you became a great white shark or something along those lines. Um, in this one it's actually got a plot, and based from the little subtitle of the game, Shipwreck Showdown, um, we're obviously going to be looking towards a final boss fight against something, which I don't need to reveal yet, um, but I'm always having to be cautious because there you have it, a leopard shark um, wandering around trying to eat me, so I'll just eat everything else. Usually the mermaid favours the side that you're already at, which is good. Mega Frenzy is the most um, bonus multiplier you can get at once. See bottom feeder and talk about the juvenile African Pompano. So frenzy time. It's just talking about another bonus that we can get in this level, a feeding frenzy boost, which will bring us up to the next stage in a multiplier. Again, completely pointless. If you'll pardon the pun, <laughs> um, because it lo it only earns you points, and they really sort of mean nothing. Well, they mean nothing to me. It, dep it depends if you're like some kind of die-hard gamer who only wants the best high scores. Um, yeah, as you may notice, these early that was close. Um, these earlier levels are done really quickly, as with Insane Aquarium Deluxe, because they're simply getting you to grasp the basics of the game. And yeah. They're really quite quick, but things can get quite difficult and frustrating later on. I seem to remember in the first game, some levels really did get quite frustrating. Um, simply because of their incredible difficulty. Because um, when you reach the Barracuda stage or something in the first game, you're in a very large ocean level filled with fish that were infinitely larger than you. And you could only eat krill or something. Most people know that. Herring herder. So here's a bonus stage. So we are eating herrings. 
Um, in the first game, you started off with minnows, um, but the minnows will make a return later on, um, or a particular minnow. And I just have to eat all the hundred fish in the level. Um, no consequence if you lose this one. You just move on to the next one. You just lose points. Or you miss out on getting the, all the bonus points from the level. Um, but usually it's not too hard to lose these bonus levels. Of course I say that and I'm probably going to lose it immediately. But... Okay. 100%. Um, that puts more into our food bank, but we're still bottom feeder. So here we are as uninvited guests. So here comes the humphead Rass. And now we can get extra life bubbles. And now we can eat these new little fish here. So it's already become apparent that we are, as, as a fish, growing quite large. Because as you can see, the lionfish are only at the second Eating stage friends. now. Double frenzy. I thought I was eating then. I suppose at some point I will lose, I will die, and then you were able to see. Um, if you are playing this game, do not concern yourself with lives. If you lose them all, you lose the game and you lose all of your points, but you still retain your level progress, so it's not a heartbreaker. And there we go. Completed to perfection again. So, Minnow Muncher. Precarious Pearls. So now we've got pearls on the seabed. My throat's gone randomly dry for a reason. For a reason unknown to me. Maybe it's because I've been talking about a bit more often than I would otherwise do. Double frenzy. Um, yeah, this will definitely frenzy. go up overnight on Monday. Super frenzy. Um, sorry, I had to cough then. I muted myself. I won't subject Mega you to any frenzy. of that. Um, if it can be helped. Um, I can't I can't understand why I was avoiding eating the humphead wrasse then. I was full size. Mega frenzy. And complete. So they're introducing a new concept with each level. Still Minnow Muncher and talking about black pearls. Um, jump for joy. So now it's talking about um, this is a bonus level to do with the surface in which we eat the flying bugs that go by. Um, not too much of a problem, you can click more times in the air to flip, get more points. Um, no real need. Oh come on, there's like one more bug. There we go. Still Minnow Mancha. So now we're moving on to showdown in the shallows. So now we're near the pier and a leopard shark's turned up. Um, I think in this level there are very few fish at the, at the bottom that we can actually eat, so it's asking us to prioritize up here. This is a new feature of the second game. This um, butterfly munching strategy is much easier once we move on to our Super next kind of fish. Um, thanks to a certain special ability that you gain. There we go. Now it should be slightly easier that we've grown. That also means we'll be able to suck up more bugs. It's not clear why loads of random um, dragonflies and things are just flying over the water. Um, throat's cleared up a bit now. 
Um, Mega yes, this is going to be the next Let's Play. I want. I don't know how long it will last, depending on um, kind of how quickly the levels go and how much I fail. It's very dependent, really. Come on, almost done. Yes. Get the mermaid. Mega um, Perfection. But what on earth is that? We don't know, so we're going to follow. The tension is peaking, and that means it's the end of the episode. See you next time, YouTube.